Wood Radio TV uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, I did a little bit of everything. I was a reporter, I was a producer on both the TV and radio sides. Um, I became an anchor. I was promoted to management. I was second in command at that radio state, at that TV radio combo. When I got a call from the Chicago Bureau of NBC News saying, um, uh, we have a job for you in Chicago. We'd like you to be a syndication producer, uh, meaning I was basically handling the Midwest region for their syndication service, stories that are provided by various affiliates that might be int of interest to other affiliates. So I did that. Soon after that, I became a field producer. This expanded my life greatly. Now, this is all just, you know, this all started as just this kid in the South Bronx in New York City. It became apparent to me, really back in Grand Rapids, that, that I was in an area of specialization. I was, and I was in it with other people uh, like me, and we were speaking our own languages. We, would, we could laugh about things that nobody outside of the industry uh, could even grasp. We could talk about, and we, we would use terminologies. Uh, So-and-so's tie was bleeding on the air today. Well, you know, not a whole lot of people knew what that meant. We understood it, and we understood the signif significance of it. And that those kinds of things, that kind of camaraderie, becomes the difference between a job and a career. And you guys have it good because, like I said, there weren't a whole lot of broadcast journalism curricula out there. You guys have one right here. And I hope you take full advantage of it. And when you get out there and you're working for NBC News or you're working for Yahoo or whoever you're working for, because it's a career, you are not, what, what's your name? Sam. Sam. You are not just Sam. You go to do a story, and when you leave from doing that story, the people you have interviewed are going to be telling other people, they're not going to say Sam was here. They're going to say CBS News was here. They're going to say Yahoo was here. Yahoo just left. Okay? Always keep that in mind, that you are not just yourself. You are representing your employer, you are representing the industry, you are representing, uh, and you are representing yourself. Be professional. Internships are like gold right now. Uh, when you have an internship, um, you have a ringside seat to what's going on. One of the problems back then was that the few colleges that did offer broadcast journalism um, if, if you went to one of those schools, you learned only in theory. You learned what was in the textbook. And you could see people who were hired, uh, who had graduated from those schools because they, the first day on the job, they were like a deer in the headlights. They couldn't believe what was going on and how radically different it was from what they had learned in the books. When that clock is ticking and you're up against a real life situation, um, it's a whole different story. If you have an internship, you get to see that, and in some respects, you even get to participate that, in, in that. Kick down the door to get an internship. You have to sell yourself. Um, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that what you have accomplished is significant and, and relevant to what it is you are applying to do. What you don't fight for, you won't get. Don't let them tell you no. Okay. They say, oh, no, I have to think about it. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something else about myself. 